Okay, so what we're going to do right now is set up a uh, scan to email on a Rico copier. Um, currently, I'm logged into an SP5210. Pretty standard. Um, most copiers look the same way in the web image monitor. Uh, what you do is you type in the IP address of your copier and you get into the web interface. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the top right and click login. By default, all Rico copiers are just admin with no password. Uh, this may be different depending on how you set up your machine, but for the most part, they're, they're going to be defaulted. Once you're logged in, you'll see that it says administrator at the top right. Uh, what you want to do is go over here to the left and click on configuration. And under device settings here, you'll go down a little ways and you'll see about halfway down it says email. That's the area we want to be on. We'll go ahead and click on that. Um, I've already set this one up for a fake everything pretty much. Uh, administrator email address. This is the email address that people see when they receive a scan document from this machine. It does not have to be a real email address. Um, if you're using a Gmail server, you can go ahead and type in whatever you want. Uh, this is unimportant. It could be your company name, it could be your school name, whatever you're setting it up for. What is important is when you go down here to SMTP, um, this is the SMTP server that we'll use in this example, it's Gmail, so smtp.gmail.com. SMTP uh, port number. This is important because Gmail does use SSL, Secure Socket Layer Protection, which is port 465. This is by default 25, which is not SSL, but in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that's 465. SMTP authentication has to be set for on because uh, the Gmail server requires an email address and username. And for Rico copiers, these two are the exact same. They have to match. So I just went ahead and put it in there, uh, my.name at gmail.com. Obviously, that's not real. It's just fake for the purposes of this. And then for the email account that you have, you'll click on change for the authentication password. And that'll bring up a window. Again, I'm, uh, I'm logged into this machine remotely, I should say. So this is going to take a little while. Uh, there it is. And just type in the password that you have set for that particular account uh, through the Gmail server. Once you click OK, that is pretty much all you should have to do. Um, with the small caveat of another thing that I, I forgot in the previous, uh, in the previous uh, video explaining all this, there is an area you do have to go to uh, for one more thing, and that is, I believe it's file transfer. No, it is not. I'm trying to remember where it, where it is. Um, you have to set uh, auto specify sender on. And I don't know that you can do that from the web image monitor. It is in the file transfer settings of the user tools on the op operation panel of the copier. Um, if you click on oper uh, if you click on user tools on the copier button or if you hit the user tools button on the copier, and then you go to system settings, it's either system settings or general settings, file transfer tab, and then when you're in there, you should see uh, something at the very bottom. Uh, it's either on page two or three, depending on the machine you're on. And it should say something to the extent of auto specify sender, and that, that needs to be on. Uh, and the reason for that is if you don't, it's gonna ask for a sender name every time you send an email. Uh, whereas if you auto specify the sender on in that email address that we put in here uh, at the very top, that fake one, that's the one that it's going to look to for the sender name, this one. And unfortunately, that's not an option in here. I thought it was, but it is not. And I don't, like I said, I don't know that you can do that in Web Image Monitor. That may have to be done at the machine itself because right now I'm just not remembering where it would be if it is in here. But at any rate, um, that's the only other thing that needs to be set up. Everything else is good to go. And obviously you would test that by sending a scan email to, or sending a scan to an email address that you have programmed into the copier.